Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Most of you know I have bettered my gardens this year and I have gotten a lot of produce from them. I have been harvesting zucchini and cucumbers, squash, tomatoes, basil, more of the herbs, and now we have a bunch of food to cook with. In this video, I'm going to be making three different recipes, farm to table recipes, and we're gonna be using some of the stuff that I've grown. The rest of the ingredients will be used in this house and I will be putting the full recipe in the description below so you guys can make them if you want. The first recipe we are going to be making is basil pesto. Basil pesto can be put on a bunch of different things including like baguettes toasted or you could put them in dishes like pepper and tomato dishes but today I'm gonna be making it to put in pasta. I myself do not like red sauce so my backup option is basil pesto sauce. It is so delicious and you just mix it up with pasta, any kind of pasta dish, and it's actually really, really good. So because I have a bunch of this basil, we're gonna get going on that recipe first. I do have most of the ingredients out right now. I can be prepared while I am making this. We are gonna go outside right now and get some basil from the gardens. This is my herbal garden. I kept this basil out here just I didn't have to, I didn't want to dry it. I can take this basil. That's what we're going to be using to make pesto with and we do need two cups So I think we do have that if not I do have more in my produce gardens. We have our basil picked First thing you want to do is measure out two cups of basil and rinse it off. I also do have a pot of water already started that is salted that we can put some noodles in there that's what we're gonna be mixing with the basil pesto once it's done. First thing we need to do is measure out a half a cup of pine nuts, and we are going to toast these. I am measuring out two cups of basil, and we're gonna put those straight into the food processor. small garlic clove cut up. Actually, it's a large garlic clove. You can choose either or. I do like garlic, so I used a bigger one. Also, two tablespoons of lemon juice. We need salt and pepper. So one fourth teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. black pepper to taste. Now for the oil, I'm gonna be putting in one fourth cup of oil. However, I'm only gonna put it in half right now. I also put in the toasted pine nuts. I forgot about them. <laughs> they burned a little bit, but I think that'll make it taste good. We are going to put in this half a cup of olive oil. Actually, it's just one fourth of a cup. I'll put in the other fourth of the cup after I blend this down a little bit. We're also going to be adding Parmesan cheese after I blend it down. Now we're gonna take off the cap, put in the rest of the olive oil, blend it up some more. We want to add our cheese. It did say one fourth cup, but I did put in a half a cup. And there we have our basil pesto. All of the ingredients are in there, and we're going to add this to some pasta and then top it off with some Parmesan cheese. We definitely are not going to need all of this, so I'm going to freeze some so that I can make this meal again. And all I'll have to do is take it out and thaw it. All right. You also want to date this. 
just put a date on it just so you know when you made it and it lasts for six months in the freezer. If you decide to put it in the refrigerator, it only lasts for about a week. I would only say five, five days, but some people would say a week. Mm, that's good. Oh my god, that's so good. Perfect amount of everything. This one's a winner. Our second recipe is going to be this delicious cucumber salad that I discovered on TikTok. Now, it's been going viral and there are several different recipes that you can use. I kind of whipped up one of my own. It does not have the same ingredients as the viral ones on TikTok do, but it is a spin on those and a play on those, so we're gonna be doing that right now. I have the ingredients ready here. I have already cut up the garlic. I've got two cucumbers that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be putting it in that jar, and I've already cut up some green onions. And I'm gonna be putting the garlic, the green onions, and the cucumbers in this bowl before I put it in the jar, just so it can evenly distribute throughout the jar. Because I have no mandolin, I'm gonna be using this side of the cheese grater to cut these. And each time I make this recipe, the cutters don't cut right, so it's probably gonna look sloppy and messy as I cut these. And then basically what it's supposed to look like is very thin pieces of cucumber. Now we're gonna add this to this bowl to mix up and then we'll put it in our jar. I'm gonna also put the garlic in there. And then of course it'll all get shaken up while it's in the jar anyway. I just usually add the stuff to the top and sometimes it doesn't get all the way to the bottom. Now that we have our cucumbers sliced in the jar, as well as the garlic and the green onions, I am toasting some sesame seeds right here. And while we're doing that, I'm going to add the liquids. We're gonna add the soy sauce. This is low sodium soy sauce, so I am going to be adding a little bit of salt rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, and this is one of my secret ingredients, which is go to Jang sauce. It is hot and sweet sauce. Woo! Clean that up. We have our toasted sesame seeds. I'm gonna add that. This last step is 
only an option, but you can add hot pepper flakes. I only add a little bit to them. And then we're gonna put on the cap and shake it. Here's our finished product. You're supposed to refrigerate this for about an hour so that all of the juices can basically absorb into the cucumber, but I get so excited when I make this. I just wanna eat it now. Oh my God. Fantastic. Mm. I could eat all of this in one sitting. Oh my God. Next recipe we are going to do is zucchini bread. I have about seven or eight zucchini plants out there that I planted earlier. Only three of the zucchini plants made it, but off of those three plants, I've gotten a good 12 zucchinis. So we're gonna take one of those zucchinis and make some zucchini bread. First thing we are gonna do is measure out all of the dry ingredients and put them in this bowl. Need one and three fourths cup of flour. And again, I'm gonna be putting these recipes in the description below, so if the, you wanna make them yourself, you can. Now we're going to put baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, Nutmeg. One half cup of sugar. And some brown sugar. We're gonna stir all of this up. Woo! Now I'm gonna move to cutting this up. We're gonna use the cheese grater again, but you're gonna wanna use this side. So after I cut it, Now this is kind of messy. You can do this over a bowl, but I'm just doing it on the cutting board. Now we do want one and a half cups of that zucchini that we just shredded. I do have some left which I could make another recipe or I could give the rest to the chickens. I might just make another recipe. Now we're going to measure out the oil and the liquid ingredients, including the eggs. Because I have 20 chickens, I've got plenty of eggs that I can use. oil. And last but not least, but vanilla. Woo! That was about two, two teaspoons. That came out really fast. I'm gonna add 
this with our dry ingredients and the zucchini and stir it all up. One of the things I'm going to do with this pan is line it with wax paper so that it comes out easier. I think using wax paper over oil or butter, this is a lot easier. Okay, one last thing before adding it to the oven. You can put walnuts in there. You can mix it up with it or you can top it off with walnuts or even almonds. So I'm just putting a few walnuts on top. I didn't mix it in this time. Now into the oven. It should be 350. The oven set is 350 and we want it to bake for about one hour. And while we are waiting for that to bake, I am making a second batch, just because I have all this left over. This is all from one zucchini. You need a cup and a half of that. I will give the rest to the chickens. It has been an hour. We are going to take out our zucchini bread. That looks fantastic. Now I'm going to show you how easy it comes out of this wax paper. I also have a drying rack here, and the reason I know it's done is because I stuck a toothpick in there and it did not come out wet, so it was dry, which means it is done. Came out really easy. I'm just gonna let it cool off right now, and then we can cut it and have a piece. And one thing I want to note, putting that wax paper in there lets me be able to put another piece of wax paper in there to do another batch. If I had put it inside, I'd have to wash it out and, which is not bad, it's just easier to do it this way. I'm gonna put in my next layer of wax paper and we're gonna bake another zucchini bread with the second batch. Now remember, one whole zucchini will make two batches. I guess it depends on the size of the zucchini. If it's a smaller zucchini, it'll make less, but if it's a bigger zucchini, it'll make more. You just wanna make sure that each batch has one cup, one and three-fourths cup of the zucchini shredded. All right. I'm going to put some more walnuts on it, just on the top. That should be good. Back in for another hour. All right, it's time to cut this and try it. Done. It's nice and done. Mmm. That is so good. Excellent. 
I'm actually using a different recipe than I did before. The recipe that I used before used two cups of sugar. This recipe has a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of sugar. It's so much better without all of that sweetness. It's just perfect. That was making three different farm to table recipes. Not all of them were baked, but we made some basil pesto, which you could do multiple things with. And in this video, I put it on some pasta, and then we made some cucumber salad, which is kind of my favorite. I'm absolutely loving that as of late, since I've discovered it. And the third recipe we made is zucchini bread. All three of these can be made easily in your home with stuff that's grown in your garden, and it saves you money from the store, grow your own food, save some money. Remember, I'm going to be putting the full recipe in the description below. Feel free to print it out or screenshot it so that you guys can make it at your home. And I'm going to be doing more of these videos, so hopefully this one went well. If you have any suggestions on how I could make this cooking video different or better, please drop those in the comments below also. And if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click the notification bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And any kind of, don't put cereal. Whatever this is called, I don't know what it's called. Jesus fuck. If I line it with foil, don't put that. Now remember, I'm going to be linking these. Don't put that. Warm, warm. Don't put that. And yeah, don't put any of that.